video is on how to write a SQL select statement in Access using null in your where clause. So right now I'm in my Stark Laboratories database. I'm in the weapons table and I'm going to write a query where it's going to show me weapons and Marvel ID and then I'm going to rewrite it and it's going to show me weapons where Mar Marvel ID is null. So null is when it does not have a value. So let's go ahead and create a query. We're going to go to create, query design. I'm going to close this and go into SQL. Select, I want weapon. I'm going to give uh, my table an alias of A. So I'll start with a.weapon, comma, a.marvel ID from weapons table and again that has an alias of a and with a semicolon and let's run just to make sure that works and that worked but now it's pulling everything and I only want to see the weapons that are not associated with a Marvel ID so I'm going to go back to my view and go to SQL view I'd like to add a criteria so I'm going to go to where or type where and we're Marvel ID is null. I'm going to run it. Now it's just showing me the weapons that are not associated or that do not have a Marvel ID. And we can do it just the opposite. We could go back and I could say rather than is null, we could put, we could do it a variety of ways, but we could put does not equal null, semicolon, and then run it. And now it's just the opposite. It's just showing me the weapons that do have a Marvel ID. So again, what a null value does, it just means that there's no value in that field. So it's referred to as a null and you can use that in your where condition when you're writing a select statement. If you have any questions, please email me at learn at vegetarianhomeschooler.com.